just one quick thing to say um this is my disclaimer anytime that i show you an item that is more of a splurge item remember remember portion control is important only have it for that one day and make sure you only have a serving size of it tip big and important tip if you eat make a big batch of brownies cookies anything like that make sure you're buying ziploc bags sandwich bags put a serving size in each ziploc bag put it into your freezer and then you can thaw it out the morning of or the night before your splurge day so that you can have one portion size of those cookies or those brownies or that piece of cake just remember portion control is so important so that you don't lose everything that you've worked for Everybody makes the chili different. I really want to see what your recipes are and how you make yours. I'm going to start reminding you on this from now on that if you have a recipe or something you'd like to see me make that is yours, let me know about it and I will try it and taste test it in a video for you. So again, if you have a recipe you would like me to try making, I will make it, try it, and taste test it for you. So I'm willing to do those kind of recipes as well. So this morning I'm going to make my chili. I don't make my chili completely from scratch, okay? So I did not open all the cans. So this is gonna take a minute. I will do it in sections like I do sometimes for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And who knows, maybe I do something a little different and you're gonna to wanna to try in your own chili. So start out as my base. I use dill pickle juice. Things are about to get messy in here. I use Hunt's stewed tomatoes. Van Camp and beans. We like our chili to be sweet and spicy. So I that's why I use Van Camp and beans because they're kind of a sweet bean. They have a sweetness to them. So these work really well for us because of that. And I think that I'm probably wearing my food today. Okay. okay. The next thing I'm going to dig out is the type of chili that I use, the brand I use. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is 
Where did I go? Okay. So we also normally what I use, I normally use salsa in my chili. I forgot to buy the salsa, but um, I'm going to use the sweet and tartar, the sweet and tart sauce from Monocles. Um, usually I use it as mild to medium salsa, and I'm sorry I didn't have any to demonstrate what I use. I love um, Gigi's salsa. There's all kinds of different salsa. I'm usually not very picky about my salsa. As long as it is tomato we salsa, I will use it in my chili. And I'm going to put a good dollop of that in. Louisiana hot sauce is our favorite hot sauce. What's your favorite hot sauce? I'll put a good dollop of that in, and then I'm going to finish filling up my crock pot. That is how I put my chili together. I use chili mans, van camp and beans, Hunt's tomato and stewed tomatoes. I use dill pickle juice, Louisiana hot sauce, and I'm using a sweet and tart from Barnacles instead of using salsa today. One more thing. Again, just like I do in my spaghetti sauce, I'm using grape jelly. Because again, my husband, my husband really likes his sweet. Okay, you know that spaghetti sauce I made the other time? It wasn't sweet enough for him. He added sugar to the sauce. And I was like, really? And I even put a whole thing of um, grape jelly in there, and it still wasn't sweet enough for him. <laughs> so. Uh, my husband really, really likes his chili sweet, and he really likes his spaghetti sauce to be sweet. So I really make a huge effort when I make chili and when I make spaghetti to try to make it sweet and then add some spiciness to it too. So I um, got this done, and I got to fill it all the way up to the top of the rest of the cans, and I'm not going to bore you by doing that, making you watch me do that. So um, I will show you what it looks like when it's all filled up. And I will take a picture of it when it's all done. And maybe when I have a bowl of chili myself, I'll take a picture of my chili and I'll add it to the video. So I hope that you enjoy this. I try not to make it too long for you. Um, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. And you enjoy this video. Whatever you do, keep moving, keep eating healthy, and don't give up on yourself because you're worth it. I know this life is getting really rough. There's a lot of struggles, a lot of things that it's just been making everybody stressed out. So find a way to get de-stress and exercising is the best medicine for that. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Check my Facebook channel out and pay Facebook page out and check out my own group as well. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm gonna hope you enjoy watching this. I have all of my chili in the crock pot now. And as you can see right now, it's nice and juicy and soupy. But anybody who does crock pot food cooking knows that about a third of those juices will go away as the day wears on. And it will end up being a nice, nice and chunky and chilly. Have a great day.